judges have voted. It was unanimous today. And the winner is... celebrities on our show tonight. The Lady Butchers of Saucy oh Song yes. in Slavic Village appeared <clears throat> on the Beat Bobby Flay show. Melissa Corey and P Penny Baron Tagliarina. Yes. Yes. You nailed it. You Did I? it. I Give it up. Yes. That was a good one. I was so uh, glad she had to read that. <laughs> <laughs> I can get Penny. <laughs> we went head to head against uh, each other, and then Penny, you had to go head to head against Bobby Flay. How did yeah. that feel, first of all? Like, was this a terrifying situation? Not really. I mean, we had talked about it before going into it. We're okay. like, okay, one of us is going to win the first round you got and that go plan. on yeah. and beat him. Like, period. Doesn't like, matter. Doesn't matter which one of us does. Like, we're totally a team all the time. Right. So, like, we're going to be a team here in New York and. That's One nice. is going to take yeah. him down. So okay. it's a lady butcher's victory. Did you nice. you use your signature dish? Tell us what it is and how to make it. All right. So there's a lot of ingredients. Um, <clears throat> it was something that I sort of took from like growing up in Southern California. So Melissa conned me uh, six years ago into moving to Cleveland. So April will be six years for me. Um, so there's a pork shoulder chop that we pound out. We marinate with. Um, Orange, serrano chilies, Ooh. lime, cumin, and then we just grill pan it. Um, so that's one part of it. And then there's also chorizo that we make in the shop in here in a pork stock that we reduce way down. So that's kind of like oh, a so secondary warm. sauce. Okay. Um, pan fried cotija cheese, Yum. lime, Ooh, that um, does sound good. lime aioli. So like house-made mayonnaise, uh, cilantro, slaw, avocado, and the whole thing is a hot mess. Okay, so. can we <laughs> assemble here? Uh, let's make one. Delicious. Right. Oh yeah, and then also we uh, we put lard on our toast a lot at Saucy Song, so we always have tons of lard. Yeah, it's a butcher shop, people. So, but, but it gives it a lot more flavor, doesn't <laughs> it? It does. Yeah. What else are you supposed to do with it? I mean, yeah, it's like everyone had a grandma, right, that had a jar of yep. that. So and yeah. the aioli is just fancy mayonnaise, sure so don't do be this. afraid by that, you know, aioli word. Totally. It's garlicky, it's herby mayonnaise that's super delicious and Absolutely. amazing on everything. Absolutely. Okay, and well, then yeah, I can um, smell the, garlic. the pork chop, you said this is what type of a cut? It's a shoulder chop. And you pounded it out. Are these expensive cuts of meat or pretty nope. economical? These are economical cuts Sweet. of meat. And then we make chorizo at the shop and it's probably like one of the craziest, most sought after. You can't leave the shop without a pound of chorizo. Okay, Jay, you'll like that. I love chorizo. So this is a And you serve on. these uh, for lunch, right? At we, your place? We do a lunch menu that's three items. Um, is this on it? We are going to serve this all weekend. We're open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday <gasps> from 11 to 7. Nice. And we're going to sell them until we sell out. <laughs> Which and will that's it. pretty quick, yeah. right? It's this, the sandwich that Slade Bobby Flay. But this is, but this is so. what you beat Bobby Flay with. They should yeah. be on the menu every day. Uh, there's probably a little bit of work that's involved. Yeah, there's a lot of work involved. In <laughs> but and they have that but whole, they're good. Like, butcher thing going on at the same time. Yeah, yes, I know dude. you're busy. Don't get avocado ham, please. I won't. Did you hear about that? People cutting their hands yeah. oh, yeah. and through the avocado. Yeah, it happens. It My does. mom would be laughing so hard. So here's the other question about this. How the heck do you eat this sandwich? Because it's like six inches tall. I mean, it's one of those things where you just have to go in for it. Right? And Michael serious. Simon was one of the judges, so Correct. he got to eat this. I imagine he was pretty comical to watch. Yes. Tear this thing down. But mm -hmm. what was that like, another Cleveland legend as we've, a judge? We've done a couple other events with him, which is really cool. So we've had kind of a rapport, and it was kind of fun to beat up on Bobby with Michael because right. he, you know, they've got a good kind of yeah, personality totally. going on and uh, so that was kind of fun to beat them up together and um, it was it was great to have him there rooting us on and Courtney as well. We had done something with her too before. Don't, so Don't you so want to cool. cut that and take a bite? You can eat. I, I don't think That's I can a mess. get in it there. It is a mess? Yeah. Should I not even try it? You could do it. I'm yeah, try it. Go ahead okay. and do it. Okay. I have okay. one question for you each. Uh, same question for each of you. The number one cut of meat that you serve to your guests. Oof. That's a tough one. It is a tough one. My favorite one. beef cut, I'll just go out on a limb on here, Picanha. It's like a sirloin cap. Okay. It's really nice fat on top of it, but it's marbled oh and otherwise very lean, but okay. very, very flavorful. I'm okay. a huge fan beef of that. Picanha. I'm going to have to go with the Denver steak. Denver yes. steak. So Here both of these are cuts up. that mm. are, you know, not really well known or are okay. a little bit more intimidating, but are amazing Very and cool. can be utilized in a lot of different recipes. Saucy San in Slavic Village. Go see these ladies have yeah. good food.